Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide and we are on January 6th, 2021. Welcome to another Surviving Down This Planet. Thank you so much for joining me. God bless us all and man, look at this. Aren't we lucky? Just missing this backside CME that went squirting out today, earlier on this morning, quite a sizable CME backside. Looking here at our sun for today, 304 angstroms. The last 48 hours, we're finally seeing some image, images again. Looking here, incoming large plasma filaments. Southwestern region, that left side, as well outgoing. So the CME ripped away from the northeastern part of the sun where there was a plasma filament. As well, look at these plasma filaments reaching away from the corona on the southwest. But right here, that's the area that snapped and produced a CME today. Right there. You can really see it here under another light. See the heliosphere severely being affected there. Colors changing. Here's another light. So as I talked about in my last video, we were expecting the coronal hole wind stream and we definitely got it overnight and it did increase earthquakes around the world looking here real-time solar wind as we had a spike up to 625 kilometers per second overnight a couple a few spikes actually and looking here at our magnetosphere geospace magnetosphere for solar winds you can see we are definitely being blasted same with the schumann resonance crazy telltale signs that something is wacky and amiss in our magnetic field right now looking at a power of seven yesterday it was a power of 1500 so if anybody can explain to me more about this human resonance please get in the comment section let me know looking here at earthquakes last 24 hours just recently here 2.8 and as well 2.5 california but wyoming mammoth wyoming north of Yellowstone was shaking today 2.8 there Idaho as well California here with minor rumbles across the coastline and as well Texas with a 2.5 and watch out Texas you're dealing with some extreme weather right now so heads up looking here over the Caribbean Puerto Rico swarm continues largest being a 3.7 throughout the day as well, a very rare 4.5 earthquake there in Venezuela. And Chile here, Argentina, 4.8, 4.6 and a 4.2. Pretty active South American plate today. As well, mid-Atlantic, 4.7 here, 10 kilometer depth. Croatia still seeing some aftershocks after that large earthquake last week. Or is it? 4.9 Britannia as well 5.5 there Indonesia 5.8 Papua New Guinea and the largest earthquake of the 6.2 at a 26 kilometer depth Kermadec Islands early this morning about 6 a.m. as well 4.9 and deepest earthquake 343 4.3 Looking here, Japan, a couple minor fours ringing out, 4.9s. And Alaska, 4.6. And a small swarm here in a Denali, Alaska. Earthquakes have been increasing there. And of course, we have Hawaii, who is still pretty active, but not as active as it was the last couple weeks. Let's switch it over to the last seven days. And boy, 
you've seen you've definitely seen an uptick just in the last 24 hours all of the white rings are the last 24 hours ever since we've been hit by the space weather the coronal hole wind stream was pelting us 625 kilometers per second definitely saw an increase in cosmic charged particles looking here the last seven days the whole ring of fire is awakening and north into Eurasia plate and Atlantic down into the Antarctic boy oh boy South America's definitely seen an increase but these regions right here Mexico Cascades and as well Philippines into Marianas Trench Japan this region here most likely will be hit by a pretty sizable disruption over the next little while. Looking here at the most recent volcanoes being updated, Kluchescoy, as well Fuego, Sangay in Ecuador. A couple avalanches to report in Idaho and Utah, northwestern United States. Volcano Etna in Italy, Popocatépetl, Tocono, Zabinkaya in Peru, Swiss and Ejima in Japan, Cadavor, Papua New Guinea, Ebico in Russia, and of course, Le Soufri, St. Vincent de Grenadades, who they are at alert level orange. Not quite in evacuation mode yet, but advised anybody living in the vicinity to leave the area. Noxious gases coming up from the earth as we are ever so changing and expanding and growing our planet our minds and our hearts let's do this together folks we're in it together looking here tornado warnings houston texas another one just popped up just now so heads up if you're listening and watching this video you could have a tornado spinning over your head right now lots of mesocyclonic systems spreading across the u.s today almost looks like one giant tornado like a lateral going horizontal across the sky crazy stuff thoughts and prayers going out to everybody across the world as we're going through all these changes together and as well as some dramatic events unfolding across the world but right now we're dealing with winter storms and windy conditions throughout Spain and Portugal and down into Morocco eastward into the Mediterranean Storms in Pakistan, storms in Japan, Korea, and extreme cold in Korea. Now, this is the Pacific Disaster Center app. You can get this app yourself and get notified of all disasters as they happen. Another app I like to use is Meteo Earth. So let's get to the five day forecast by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike. Looking here, starting out here, hometown home base Calgary Alberta as we are starting to get into some more seasonable cooler temperatures but they don't really hang around it's like daytime heating and then right back to the nighttime cold but strong dominant high pressure ridge hanging out over the northwest United States is going to keep things pretty much dry except for southeastern states into the Gulf states later in the week as you guys could have some more extreme weather heading through Texas in the coming days. Looking there, Springtown, you guys could see some snow behind this system. It's amazing that pretty much in like a 200 kilometer area, looking at snow and the other tornadoes. Looking here over the West Pacific at the rain train that continues, large low pressure systems battering the Alaskan peninsula watch for things to clear up a little bit into the Washington and northward into Vancouver Vic Victoria Island but later in the week watch for the big system to come through bring a ton of rain lots of moisture being wrapped up in this in this long-range low-pressure system overlooking Europe that low pressure system still hanging around starting to break out and move eastward but we do have another sizable winter storm heading into Finland in the 
long range forecast there could see some pretty wild weather conditions definitely blizzard like conditions across finland as well some extreme weather through morocco portugal and spain as that system rolls through and of course cold across china and up into russia coldest temperatures being recorded here minus 43 but still, we're seeing the anomaly happen across the Northern Hemisphere. Things are warming, and we're definitely seeing it on the ground. Looking here, the Philippines, Indonesia, daily evaporation rains heavier through the Philippines and Malaysia. Five-day forecast, about three days worth of snow for you guys in Japan. Overlooking Australia, not too much to talk about, except for rain, parts of uh, northwestern Australia and New South Wales into Brisbane. Overlooking South America, same thing. Daily evaporation rains heavier towards Central America. Panama region, usual suspects. Looks like a low developing there later in the week. Keeping an eye on that. And Africa. You guys do have quite a bit of rain coming in the long range forecast here. Daily evaporation rains, but as well a low pressure system moving in. Monday into Tuesday. Overlooking the Indian Ocean, watching tropical cyclones still spinning, heading towards Mauritius and Madagascar. I'll leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Thank you all for watching today. God bless and Please stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss an update. Thanks. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.